recently I decided to set up a bulletin board on my website. You can check that out. It's simply message.garyhtech.uk. So msg.garyhtech.uk. I'm going to quickly show you how I did that and how I set it up. So let's jump into my terminal. This is my test bed. This is and I will show you, this is not my running config, but I will show you how I install it. The only prerequisite I'm going to assume that you've got is a database set up. Apart from that, everything else we're going to install, a database and a web server. I'm not going to install that. Should we get on with it? Okay, let's jump into my terminal. So as you can see, I'm on my test bed. Now, there are tons and tons and tons of bulletin boards out there. I'm gonna use one that's in the, that's in FreeBSD's repository already, and it's called uh, MyBB. Let me just go on to Chrome. Here we go, so it's this one here. It's a PHP-based bulletin board discussion forum. This is the one that I've used. It was the one that was the easiest to set up and has all the features that I wanted. So let's go back to my terminal. Here we go. So first things first, we're going to install my BB. So package install my BB. It should pull in all the required dependencies. There you go. A few of them. Interesting that it wants Sirius SASL, but that's fine. There's the PHP uh, modules that it needs and a few extra bits. So let's get that installed, won't take long. A few that will be upgraded and a few that will be removed. PHP 8.4, so it's not my default, that's fine. Okay, now I've got Nginx running and PHP running. Must turn that off. Let's restart PHP, make sure that's running. Uh, let's go into, just want to quickly check where it is, the log file anyway. Oh yeah, we'll change a few defaults in this as well. So let's www username and group and the listen we're going to use a unix socket for that that'll be var run php now you can put the name of what php this is and so if it's php 83 which is what this is you can put this here however when you upgrade it will stay at that so what i would suggest is just put in php fpm.soc i think that's more reasonable so let's uncomment these see what else I've got set. PMS set to dynamic. Children is five. Start servers two. Spare servers should be one. Max spare three. I think that's about it. Yeah, that should be about all you have to set for PHP FPN. Okay, so let's look at our rtc.conf. And we've got it at the bottom there. Okay, so let's restart it. There we go. That's the first bit. Right, so we've got Nginx installed, we've got PHP installed. Let's install our database. Now, normally I would use MySQL. This time I'm not going to. I'm going to use a different one. So what I'm going to use in this is MariaDB. So let's find out which one we want to install. Because my assumption is there's more than one version. Hmm. So what's the default? MariaDB. Should we have a quick look? These are ports. BSD. Default versions. Okay, so there isn't one set, so you just pick one that you want. Now, I'm going to try and use the latest. What's the latest? Let's check out their web server. 11.8.2. So that would be 11.8.2. There we go. So we want that one and that one. So we want let's CD. So we want package install. And we want the client as well. And because these are based on MySQL, shouldn't need much in the way of PHP to install. Interesting. Okay, user ports. Let's have a look in ports. Let's go into database. Dub, dub, dub. That was what that was for. Okay, interesting. So it looks like the MySQL version is the only way forward with my BB. So we won't use MariaDB right now. My SQL ED server. Let's install that. 
That's really annoying when that happens. Okay, so to enable that, MySQL enable equals yes. Now you can put in your options file, but because it's in the default play, and you know what, let's put it in anyway. Let's be safe. Okay, what's next? We'll get to using MariaDB another time, I guess. Okay, so let's configure our web server. Now there are two ways of setting this up. You can do it as a subfolder or you can do it as its own domain. I've done it on mine as its own domain. And I will show you that configuration in a little while. But first, let's get it all set up as a subdomain, shall we? You know, what's interesting is most people seem to do it as its own subdomain, which is what I've done. Right, so let's put it in and see what happens. That's what she said. This may not work. However, we're going to give it a go. Now you can use my, whatever directory you want there. I just so happen to use what it's actually called. Uh, let's double check that that is all right. Something tells me, just out of experience, that Nginx will fail to start here. Just because that's the way Nginx always seems to work for me. Why it does that, I don't know. I could put it there. See what happens. There we go. It's very particular about where things are. Right, so. Nginx is set up. And it's got PHP FPM. We've got our data. We need to set up a database server, don't we? So it's installed. We just need to set it up. So we've enabled it in our RC. I guess we just start it. UTC RC dot D. See what happens. It's apparently running, and it is running. Good o. Let's quickly secure it. Yeah, we don't care about your prompt. All right, securing the MySQL server deployment. Contacting. Uh, connecting to MySQL using a blank password. Validate password component can be used to test passwords and improve security. No. Remove anonymous users. Yeah, we don't want that. Normally, routes should only be allowed to connect from the local host. Do we want that? Yeah. Yep. Reload privileges. All done. So let's restart MySQL. Probably don't need to do this, but I'm going to anyway. running yes it is let's make sure we can access it we can great stuff so we're going to create a database my bb always forget that semicolon that should be all we need to do there we could use a a different user to access that but i'm not going to all right let's see if we can get to it love it when this happens why is it forbidden to see where our log is shall we I know that I've got an error log set. No, I haven't. Okay. Directory index is forbidden. Oh, I see why. Oh, I see why. It's the wrong place, isn't it? Let's adjust that. Well, now that's interesting. IVB. Okay, let's try it again. Not found. Use the local www. MyBB. MyBB. Well, yeah, of course that won't be found, will it? Forbidden. Why is it forbidden? Directory index. Have I not put in what the directory index? I bet I haven't, have I? No, of course I haven't. Look at that. Ah, uh, stupid am I. How stupid am I? Well, it's still forbidden. I'm trying to get to index HTML. Maybe I should put index PHP in first. Do I need to put it in there as well? Always make a mistake. Always. All right, let's watch the log, see what happens. Hoorah, hoorah, we're there. <laughs> so let's quickly look at the config for what worked for under the main host. So simply put location, name of the location. Now, if you want to change that, you'll have to do some fancy rewrites. I'm not going to do that it's outside of the scope of this video. So there's the route, there's the index, there's the location, the fast CGI pass, all of that that's good so what we get when we fire it up for the first time is that now this send anonymous statistics about your server specifications to my bb group untick that that's what i've done i don't want to send them anything it's up to you of course if you want to do that do that but i don't so let's move along 
is the uh, GNU public license. Have a read if you want. The amount of times I've read that. Here we go. Requirements. Now this is quite easy to move around because it even tells you what you need to do there. So let's have a look. So there's the INC. Now I have found on this all you need to do is change it to um, being owned and group owned by www that worked for me let's see if it works here so inc config default php so search mod www www inc what was it called config default php so config okay invalid for oh ch own not mod you know what this is these silly little mistakes that I make in every single video. It's me being flustered. It's me trying to get through it as quickly as possible. And I should slow down, but there we go. Right, so let's check to see it. If that has worked, recheck. That's interesting. Who's this web server running as? I bet it's running as Nginx. It's not even set, actually. I wonder who that's running as by default. I bet it is Nginx, isn't it? Nginx. I'm going to change that. I'm going to just quickly change this to www and restart the web server. Let's see if that works. But you, if I rename, change the ownership of the folder, it will work. You watch. Hang on, can we link? Yeah, there we go. Cache, uploads, uploads avatars. So do the same for cache, uploads, avatars. Let's see what that check does now. There we go. Drives you up the wall, isn't it? Right, so. Let's see if this works. Connection to the database server and database you specified was successful. Okay, so down to the bottom and click next. Basic tables have been created. Time to insert the default data. Theme installation, test VB. Yeah, that's correct. Contact email and then click next. Right, administrator account, we'll just call it Gary strong password and an email address click next it's done now before exploring remove the installation directory so let's do that so I'm not going to remove it just yet just in case I want to reconfigure it I'm just going to move it and change the ownership so that it actually I won't change the ownership just going to move it let's see what happens now, if I go to my BB, it should all be ready for me. There we go. And we're in. Now, FreeBSD's version imports is slightly behind the latest one. You can update it yourself if you want. You can download it and just put it over the top, I believe. Again, something that's a bit outside the scope of this. Anywho, there we are. There's all your configuration templates and styles and I have found there's a, a fair amount of themes out there especially on the MyBB loads and loads all the way up plenty of them peruse at your leisure that's that installed now my one like I said is in its own domain there's my one probably nothing on here yet it's only been there a few days and in fact, I'm still the only user. So get on there and start messaging. So let's get on to, let's make that slightly bigger. Hopefully they don't wrap anything. There we go. Right, as I said, I use this in its own domain name, its own subdomain. So what I've got here is a redirect for HTTP. And then I've got my SSH, SSH, SS, HTTPS. There's my SSL certificates and the important part is here so there's the root there's the index and then there's the php and like i said i'm running php 8.3 but because in all the various files that i've got for different websites and, and different folders and, and different directories i'm stuck at having php 8.1 hyphen fpm if i'd have just put php hyphen that wouldn't have happened but it doesn't really matter it's just not as neat 
One day, I will edit that and just change it because my guess is there's quite a few of them. Anyway, it's really that simple. It looks fairly decent. And if I didn't make silly mistakes because I'm flustered and rushing, that wouldn't happen. You get a decent, well, decent everything to be fair. User control panel, moderator control panel, admin control panel. And again, not quite on the latest. I might try and update that port myself, see what happens. As soon as I've run my own package build system anyway. So there we go. It's really quite simple. Not many steps. Install MyBB, Nginx, PHP, MySQL. And you can use MariaDB. And I'm pretty sure if once you've got MariaDB installed and running, you could probably change the port. I'll look at that in my leisure. Right, so MyBB installed. So package add MyBB, package add Nginx, package add PHP 8.3, package add whatever database server you want. Set them all up and you're good to go. And what you get is a lovely dashboard. So yeah, get on my forum, start posting. Don't make it another waste of time. <laughs> Before I go, I just want to say um, a big thank you to Mark for giving me loads and loads of advice. Your information on diabetes was invaluable to me. You helped reassure me. Thank you, Mark. Really appreciate that. Right, I'm going to get out of here. Share, comment, subscribe, like, all of that kind of stuff. I hate saying it. And I'll see you in the next video. Take care.